Rotate the camera. Oh, we got a horn. Yes. You guys knew it had to happen. Hello, everybody. Grace Still Plays, and we're checking out a new game for the channel called Train Mechanic Simulator 2017, also known as Epic Music Simulator. I gotta tell you, shouldn't you put the next year on simulators? Don't they always do that, where like a simulator comes out and it comes out in 2017, but they call it like Train Mechanic Simulator 2018? Because I'm guessing, I don't know if it's in the, if it, if it has a bigger number, it's better iPhone people always do that too, don't they? Let's start the game. So this game is all about trains and mechanics and stuff. Yes, I want to start a new game. Reason why is because I start up another game just so I could like know what to click on. <laughs> so I wasn't spending a lot of time fumbling around. Don't worry, I didn't really get anywhere. It says, welcome to Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. You're a train mechanic and your task will be to repair rail vehicles in three different workshops. Under your care will be both archaic and simple steam engines, as well as very modern electric mo locomotives. Each locomotive will be assigned to a garage adapted to repair a specific type. Good luck. Excellent. Now, I do believe that we begin inside of the diesel shop. So, uh, man, it looks diesel -y too. Look at the rust up in this place. Oh, Eagle Petrol. So there's a couple of things that you have to do in this game. Obviously, you get to repair the trains, you get to drive the trains, and you get to do other stuff too. Like, you get to like haul wrecked trains away and stuff like that. There's a big world out there for us to see and kind of like uh, drive around, and it's pretty cool. So we've got a couple different benches over here. You got your electric bench, your mechanics bench, and then your hydraulics bench. And when we're deconstructing the locomotives and trying to find out what's wrong with them, we have to make sure that we repair the stuff at the appropriate bench type. And it's kind of as you would guess. The mechanics bench is like, you know, simple simple mechanic stuff like uh, like brakes in there, have you. The hydraulic stuff is, I've seen like some um, like hydraulic gear things and what have you. I don't know, man. I gotta tell you something. Intellectual workbenches for that, that was an entire waste of time me explaining that. It's pretty freaking self-evident. It's been a long time since I've messed around with trains, but I've always been really interested in them as a kid. So now's the time, baby. Now's the time to pick up that pick up that uh, childhood spark and put it to good use. Right over here is our work order station. This is our craptastic office of sadness. Trains may exceed 80 miles per hour, and you guys know we're going to be doing that. I hope that the creators of the game made it so that you can't crash. Otherwise, this game's going to be over real fast when I start playing. It says acceptance of work orders. Welcome to the work order acceptance system. Here you will be able to accept work orders and missions assigned to a given workshop. In this window, you can switch between work orders or skip a given task and possibly finish it later. Lovely. First things first. Looks like we got some simple stuff here. It says, uh, welcome to the game Train Mechanic 2017. Excellent. Your first mission will be a simple train repair so you can become familiar with the basics of the game. Your task will be to repair a locomotive in which the steel and rubber springs in the front truck have been damaged. That's what you get for riding on the, uh, riding on all that off-road train riding. <laughs> I don't know. Here's our job number. So right over here, if you guys don't know, um, I guess a lot of people kind of compare this to Car Mechanic Simulator. I, you know what? I feel like such a jerk because I've never played Car Mechanic Simulator and I probably should. Because a lot of people compare that game to a bunch of other games that I've played. So I should probably know at least some of the difference between the two. So right here, we can see that our income's 125 bucks. We're going to need at least two parts off of this thing. We've got a picture clipped to a piece of paper. This is 2017, man. Everything should be online nowadays. Why do we even have a clipboard? Like we have... Yeah, look at this. We have a tablet. Oh, a tutorial for the tablet. The tablet's your information center. Here you can start online stores. Oh, with parts. There are three shops for mechanics, hydraulics, and electrical systems. Improve your garage and go to the mechanics help center that describes all the operations of the game. Okay. That's pretty legit. Oh, wow, it is. It's a freaking online shop. So, can we set up our own? It sounds like we can set up our own store and sell parts and stuff like that. If so, that is freaking sweet. All right. So, here's the first train of the day, boys. It's the 247. I'm sure that's a good number. I don't really know whether that's good or bad. Now, when you're repairing trains, you can see here, and you can sprint too, that different parts of the train are going to kind of highlight. So that's what we're going to target. Let's start at the front, I suppose. In this mode, you can strip down locomotives, take apart all their available components. Often, to be able to get to a part, you'll have to remove other parts, even those operating properly. So, right over here, we get to see all the different chunks of the, <laughs> of the train. And let me tell you something, 
there is a lot. Now remember, right now we're just working on diesel engines. There's steam and electric as well, so I, I imagine those are going to be substantially different. Now I can already see, look at this, I wonder if this means something. Look at how this spring here looks all rusted and shot, and so does this one. Meanwhile, these springs look good. So let's check it out. Uh, we're going to need testing mode, which is number three. Right here, condition check. In this mode, you can check the condition of various train elements to estimate the profitability of the repair. Remember, the higher level of wear on the individual elements, the greater the risk of unsuccessful repair of the element. Okay, so if I click on this, oh, we got to hold it down. If I click on this, there you go, boys. Right there, we got our very first messed up rubber spring, and I'll bet this one's the second one. Man, I'm good at this. And then if we wanted to, we could probably just check out, like, these ones are probably in decent shape. Yeah, 94% and 97%. Okay, good. So now disassembly mode. Let's go click on this. Now, you double click, it looks like, on the item. And then you hold down the button to take off your bolts and your and your things right up in here. Look at that. Look at the size of that freaking bolt right there. That's what I'm talking about. And off it comes. No big deal, right, boys? Let's go ahead and grab this one as well. We're going to be making fat stacks of cash in no time. So now, right off there, if we check out our tablet. Oh, actually, we don't need the tablet. We need the work order. Ah, M. Okay. So we check out our M, our M work order here. There we go. Steel and rubber springs. We're freaking set. So what would you repair steel and rubber springs with? Not the electrical workshop. Not the hydraulics workshop. I imagine it's going to be this. Uh, it better be this. Specific sub-assemblies may be repaired on the workbenches. We have divided them into three categories. Mechanics, hydraulics, and electrical. The cost of the repair will be added to the account. Good. I'm glad I'm not paying for it. The difficulty is that there is no certainty as to the success of the repair. Great. If this repair is successful, this part will be repaired to the percentages 90 to 100. However, if we don't manage to regenerate the part... I like that. If we don't manage to cast World of Warcraft regeneration on the part, we're screwed. The price of the repair is significantly lower than the purchase price of new parts. I'll bet. So right over here, you can see we already have a 100% repair chance on this. We're probably just freaking taking a wire brush, I don't know, and some vinegar, and taking the, all the rust off of this crap. Let's go ahead and repair it. Uh, let's see here. Cost $3,000. 3300 Well, the account is paying for it, not us. So what do I care? Uh, okay, good. So we had 100%, so I really doubted that we were going to fail in any sort of spectacular way. So we're good, man. We've got brand new... Steel and rubber springs on this thing. Now let's go to two, the installation mode. Okay, good. So it ghosts. It kind of like gives you a ghostly outline of where you're supposed to put your items on. And I imagine uh, we just, let's see here. I imagine that the wrench, oh, okay. We have to do certain bolts first. Okay, so that bolt over there, that bolt over there, and then this one, and then, come here, baby. And then there we go. Okay, excellent. And now one more. Put this last one in, and this is going to be a successful job, boys. A successful job from Yonder Shop of Gray. I don't know what we should call our shop, but we're going to have to figure it out. Looks like everything is repaired. You can finish the task from the work order, and you can find new work orders in our craptastic land of computers and sad desk chairs. Over to the work order. Uh, that's not what I wanted at all. That was pretty cool, though. Finish work order. Give me my money and pull your train up out of my shop. Sucker, but remember the name. Gray still plays. Gray still fixes trains. What happens if you fall inside of this? Ah, oh, really nothing. Totally fine, but you can go down there. That's kind of interesting. I guess if you wanted to get under a train, that would be a, definitely a good way to do it. We got a crappy little fan. I think I'm going to sit in front of it for a second. Oh, yes. All right, that's all the rest you get, baby. When you order a, a train repair station, we don't have time for that crap. Job order number two. The driver complains about a faulty brake system. Locate the cause of the defect and make repairs. This work order is slightly more difficult. Remember, each part type is repaired on a different workbench. Okay, very good. There's something I want to let you guys know, too, because I don't remember if I said this when we very first started playing the game. So now we're looking for three different parts. This game is not out yet. Uh, it's coming out in, I think, a week or so. So I happen to just have... I'm lucky enough to get a uh, pre-release copy here to play for you guys from the developer. So just giving you guys a real quick look at it. Ooh, a blue trade. I like the blue trade. This was a 247 as well. What do these numbers mean? I know there's got to be some train fanatics out there. You guys know. I know it. Okay, so bad brakes. Oh, see this? Look at this. Just from like a precursory glance. There we go. You can remove the body. Okay, this is going to help a lot. 
and you can take a little walk around and immediately you can probably see where the issues lie. So these breaks back here are looking pretty good. Is there a jump in this game? There is not a jump in this game. Okay. So everything on this side looking okay. Over here looking all right as well. I think everything's looking okay. This, this piece over here is looking a little rusted. But it looks like the big problem children are all on this side. So let's go ahead and rip it off. We have several pieces. You can see right here, we got a brake caliper to take off. So let's go ahead and disassemble this. Uh, only one bolt holding this thing on? Man, that seems very, very uh, unsettling. Um, oh, you know what? We should have tested first. I'm taking stuff off. I'm not even freaking testing it. I'm just, I'm using my eyes and nothing else. But I think I have a pretty good idea. Yep, there we go. Wow. They let this get way down. Um, in fact, you know what we'll do? Hold on here. What we'll do is we'll throw the cal- Oh, it tells you you don't even have to test. If you, if you learn how to do it by eye. Ooh. All right, man. Well, hope you guys got the magic eyes then. Uh, I think we need to take... Let's see here. We need to take this off first. Ah, I see. Look at this. If you're trying to remove something, it's going to highlight what you need to remove first. So we have to take off the hydraulic brake hoses. So let's go ahead and remove those. And now we can select this. Excellent. Come off to me, screws. I don't have time. To Dilly Dally, there's money to be made. And there's more trains to be seen as well. I want to eventually see all of the trains. And you guys are going to have to let me know if you want to see more trains as well. Brake caliper arm, now that that has been taken off. So, we have all three parts, I would assume. Let's go down here to our work order. Yes, we have all three parts. Now, remember, we have a hydraulic brake piston. This is the hydraulic stuff I was talking about. So you can tell that that's going to need the hydraulic workstation. But let's go over here and see if we can fix this stuff. Ooh. Our repair chance on this is pretty bad. Um, now, we can repair the brake caliper arm. I assume because, I don't know, we're just pounding it out or something. Uh, pound it out. Repair at 100%. The success is, the repart is functional. Now, this over here, 31%. I don't like that, man. That's too low. We're going to have to buy that on our tablet. So we want a brake caliper on the tablet. Let's go over here to mechanical parts, and oh, it's right at the front. Okay, well, if we if we had to, I imagine we could type in like brake, and then click on filter. Yep, look at that. Okay, I'm glad that they put that like that. So let's add one brake caliper, put it in the cart. <laughs> oh, there's even a delivery. <laughs> look, there's a freaking shipping fee. You gotta be kidding me. How uh, how realistic can you get? All right, so now we have another brake caliper. So I wonder what we do with the old one. I guess um. I don't know. Are we allowed to sell it? Like, do I get to keep it? So over here, man, a 31% on the hydraulic brake piston. We're going to need to buy that too, because look at the cost if you fail to repair that. Um, it is not good. So hydraulics, uh, hydraulic hoses. Hydra okay, right there. Hydraulic brake piston. It's almost the same price to just buy a brand new one. And we don't have to worry about screwing this up. So right over here, another $10 for shipping. Uh, account status after the work order. Oh, we're in the we're in the red here after we do this. So let's go ahead and buy that. Now, the extra parts that we have on hand, um, I kind of wonder. You know what? I'm gonna click on this real quick too. Improve the workshop. What does this do? Uh, faster loosening and tightening of screws increases the possibility to repair stuff. Oh, okay. All right, I got gotcha. you. So for all the mechanics, hydraulics, and electric workbenches, there's five levels where we can increase the potential to get stuff uh, coming on correctly. Parts warehouse, I think, is where we're gonna want to go. Yeah, right over here, here we go. So now the crappy stuff. Let's go ahead and sell this, because, I mean, it's useless now, right? I mean, we get 76 bucks for that. We get 85 bucks for that. And now we've got all of our parts here. We just gotta throw them back on, and we're freaking set to go, man. Let's go over here, click on the body, click on installation mode. And the very first thing it wants us to do is the brake caliper arm. So let's go ahead and throw that on. I think there's, yep, only one only one bolt right there. I wonder how fast you can get your, uh, your bolt stuff going. Next goes on the hydraulic brake piston, is it? Ah, no, it's the actual brake caliper, perhaps? Nope, hydraulic brake piston. I think you can put them on probably in any order. I know the hoses go on last, because remember, the hoses were the big thing that was keeping us, keeping us away from getting at this friggin' piston. But now, it's looking good. Ah, see, now it wants us to put on the hoses. All right, hoses go on, bloop, right there. And then the brake caliper itself 
Gonna slide right in with one bolt. No big deal. And boys, we are... Put the body back on. We are set. Thousand bucks. Finish the order. Nice. That's an interesting looking train. Oh, it's backing out. I think it's backing out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's backing out. So trains have a reverse. Which is, like, obviously, like, I think to myself now, like, oh, come on, Gray, of course they're gonna have a reverse. But you never think about it. Job order number three. Sometimes the task will involve finding and repairing locomotives that were damaged somewhere on the roots of the game world. And then towing them to the appropriate workshop and making the repairs. Ah! For this purpose, you'll use a special repair train. Of course there, of course a repair, a repair train exists. This time a diesel locomotive broke down in square D1. Locate it and tow it to the workshop. We suspect a truck failure. All right. So, let's see here. Okay, so we clicked on it. It's in progress. Do I have a work order for this now as well? I appear to. Find the locomotive in square D1 and tow it to the workshop. So it looks like we're going out of the shop, boys. If you ever wanted to see what the great what the great wide beyond looks like, we're in it. All right. What's my what's my repair train look like, baby? I want something that looks cool. I wonder I hope it's gray. If it's not gray, I hope it's yellow. Cuz I I love that color as well. All right, find the locomotive in D1, tow it to the workshop. Oh, it's yellow! Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, boys. Ooh, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so 247 must be the number of all the trains in the game for the moment. I hope that they kind of change that. I would actually like to see, like, different train numbers. Um, so let's take a look at some of the some of the things that we have here. I've never driven a train before. So we have increase and decrease the power, spa uh, braking, rotate the camera. Oh, we got a horn! Yes! You guys knew it had to happen. Our map is M. Okay. So, how do you... Oh, you click and drag. So, where is square D1? I imagine it's up here. Ah, D1. This is what we're looking for. So, we are going all the way to the north of the... Of the map. Find a locomotive in D1. Okay, so... I guess we start... Ooh, there's a camera? Oh! Ho, ho. Hey! Hey! Oh, that's cool! There's an entire, like, driver's area for this. Wow, the driver's area of a train is pretty legit. Um, we've got throttling, dynamic braking. We've got our uh, screens over here. Now, guys, again, I don't know if there's any train drivers out there, but let me know if this is realistic or not. Oh, the throttle went when we used it. Awesome. So we are off. Let's go ahead and get out of this because I want to see a little bit of the world. So right now, you... Hold on a second. Oh, you have to... You have to switch the tracks. So we're going to want to take Eastport going to Coastal Valley. So yeah, going to Coastal Valley. So what do you just click on it? Whoa. Eastport going to Westport. No, we want... Yeah, there we go. Coastal Valley. So now... Yep, see right there. Now the train tracks, it looks like it's highlighted in orange, are going around the side. And then Suburban Station. Let's see here. Suburban Station to South Electric Engine Depot is where we want to go. So, Coastal Valley, Tokyo Station, Tokyo Station, in Tokyo? Are we? Oh! Freaking bonsai trees! Look at this over here, guys! Yes! Alright, oh, and it's got some, uh, it's got some, some music over there playing as well. And then I think we're gonna want to go into the canyon. Because that's going to get us into D1. Yes, there we go. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Sweet. Yeah, listen to the music change as we came into the, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll call it the, the Tokyo area? The area Asia or the Orient? I don't know what the appropriate level of... Oh, oh, hold on. Let's go ahead and slow down here. I'm going to break. Oh, there's that nice squeal I wanted to hear from the breaking. That's what I'm talking about. So it's highlighted. It's almost like come into the come into the quest location, Gray. Into the quest location. There it is. We found the broken down train. So hold on. Tow the train to the diesel train depot. Yeah. Oh, sweet. There it is. We we freaking attached it. We hooked it up. It's all hooked up. So what happens if you're approaching a train f like the wrong way? Like I imagine this is very, very planned out. Like, when you're going to repair and tow a train, like, you already know everything about it. You already know which way it's facing, which way you're going to come, because this isn't like driving a car, man. We can't just do a, a three-point turn or anything. All right. 
We are off. Come on, baby. Get that speed up. We're in like Westernville right now. You hear that that southern twang playing right there. Got some old beat up. Look at these houses and stuff over there. What kind of cabin is that? Would someone live there? It looks so brutalized. It's scary. This is like the Deadlands, baby. All right, so it looks like we're driving the right way so far. Over here, North Great Lakes to South Great Lakes. South Great Lakes to East Great Lakes is where we're going to want to go. So let's see here. East Great Lakes. Okay, that's good. It looks like we're on the right way. Oh, this is cool. What is this? Hold on. Oh, that's awesome. It's like a, like a castle or something it almost looks like. That was the coolest bridge I've seen. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, it's got, it's got us going the right way big time. So then west center to south center, I would imagine, and that should get us home. So west center to south center. We don't want to go east center. Let's see here. West center, south center, north station, and then to the diesel engine depot. All right, I think we're well on our way here, boys. This should be it. The sun rises in the distance. Oh, there's that castle. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that is sweet. Can we zoom in a little bit on this? Oh, that's that's pretty cool. I like the uh, I like the environments that they've given us. Man, this is actually a pretty cool little game. West Center to South Center, South Center to North Train Station. Road to the Diesel Engine Depot or switch to the city. We don't want to switch to the city. We want to go to the depot. So, wow, we are like really trucking here. I'm going to go ahead and slow us down a little bit. I feel like I'm coming in hot. I don't know if it matters or not. Um, let's see here. Road to the diesel engine depot. Yeah, that's what I want. Nope, we missed it. But luckily, there's a reverse. So all I had to do is just throw it in reverse, switch the tracks right there, and now we had to head into the city. So not the depot. I th you know, you'd think it would be the depot, but it's the city. Oh. Oh. And quite a city it is. So that should be the depot right back over here. Yep, there's our shop coming in right up in here. Mission complete. The damaged vehicle has been restored properly and towed to the workshop. So now not only do we have to tow it, I imagine we're going to have to repair it as well. I mean, this is train mechanic simulator, not train towing simulator. There it is. Let's, that's me. I just pushed it in, boys. You know, it wasn't working, so old Gray just got behind it and <laughs> started pushing. As expected, the problem proved to be damaged transmission in the truck. Remove and replace them. 250 bucks. Okay. Sure. So we're looking for a transmission. Let's go ahead. Let's see here. Uh, let's go take the body off, I would imagine. Oh, yeah. I can already spot it. Right up there and right there. That's what we're looking for. No, no. I, I know it. I know it in my bones. But we're going to go ahead and test it. Because I feel like we should be testing this stuff. A broken down gear drive and another gear drive. Yep. It's exactly what I thought it would be. So can I take this off in one shot? Nope. We have to. Let's see here. All right, it's not telling us what I got to take off first, and I can't get it off, so let's kind of take off a little bit of the frame here. Now, we haven't checked this, but I imagine we're going to have to dig pretty deep through all this stuff to eventually get to the drive gear. And this this really looks like it needs to come off first. Again, I've got a little bit of knowledge from... Oh, wow. It looks like the entire gear axle is going to have to come off here. Look at this wheel axle. Okay, so it wants me to take... Ah, so it starts with the axle box. Okay... There we go. Spin dish is coming off. Man, there is all kinds of parts in here that I have had to take off. Now, some of them, I'm not sure if I had to get at. Let's get, hold on. Can I get deep inside of here? I want to really see. See this electric motor cover right over here. There we go. We got to take this whole motor system off. I have a feeling I, re I removed like a bunch of brake calipers and stuff like that. I don't think I needed to do that. I think really what you have to do is you got to pay like real close attention to what connects to what. So now that that comes off, what else do I need to do? Okay, so it looks like this comes off next, is it? Hold on, let me see. There we go. Drive gears off, that's what I wanted. All right, so same thing over here. Yeah, see, I just gotta keep a closer eye on what to remove. So it wants us to remove that. Oh wow, this drive gear came right off, what the crap? So that should be it. Um, Let's see here, we got the two drive gears to the part station to fix this crap. I wonder if we can repair it. So the gears over here, I would assume, would just be mechanics. Let's take a look. You can look at all the parts I pulled off, guys. Don't do this. Don't do what old Gray did. A 5% chance of repairing? Why even bother? All right, so we need two drive gears over here to our tablet of power. This isn't even an iPad. This is like a B-pad or something. This is some gangster stuff right here. 
So let's see here. We need the gear drive. $46,000. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. Uh, wow. The account status after the work order, 87 grand, huh? Hold on a minute here. Hold on. 46 grand for one of these. How much was this to repair? $40,000 to repair it. Okay. I guess we're buying it then. Oh, this pains me so much. I know like the account is paying for it, but it looks like we're a little bit in the red there. Um, oh God. Oh, let's put it back on and get this thing out of here. All right, brand new drive gear. Slips right in, put on the old engine mounting as well that we kind of uh, ripped off here. Although I think we were supposed to rip this off, this one. So it's just fine. Oh, you can center the camera with F. Oh, I like that, there we go. So that when you click on a part, if you click F, it looks like the camera will swing around and make sure that that particular part is in the middle of the screen, especially so that when you're like zooming in and out, it doesn't cause like a giant issue. So brake caliper over here. Let's go ahead and throw this one in. Man, I'm getting good at throwing stuff in now. Throw this in over here. Should have what, one, one bolt? Yep, one right down there. Got a couple of gear pieces. There is the electric motor rotor tip shaft. The motor rotor tip shaft. Try saying that five times fast. What else we got here? I ended up taking off a hydraulic brake piston, so let's go ahead and throw this thing in there. Five bolts for the win, no big deal. I think I took off a, a, a look at this down here, a friggin' uh, spring as well, because why not? I think the spring slip right on. Slip right on, uh, right there, no problem. Over here we got an axle box that I decided needed to come off for God and Country. We'll go ahead and put that on. Got the electric motor mounting brackets. Gotta put that on. I like that it highlights the screws, man. This would be a pain in the ass if it didn't. Wow, there is a lot, well, it's not screws, I should say, the bolts. But man, there is a lot of them on this. They want this bracket on there good and tight. I'll tell you, some of the other stuff is on there with like one bolt, but that right there, they, it is no joke. All right, secondary drive gears going in. Looking good. Did we have to remove anything else? Oh, right over here, the rotor tip shaft. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Now, is there anything else I'm missing? Uh, let's check out our parts warehouse. Nope, everything that we got left is these lap two drive gears. We'll go ahead and sell them because there's no reason to keep them. A Little bit of money right there. There we go, now we're getting some cash and I'm pretty sure, boys, that that is it. Yes, completed the drive gear. Get a thousand bucks for that right there. Uh, let's see here, we got a bonus achievement. And then we got bonus for low cost. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. We are set, baby. The green locomotive of greatness and power is pulling out. Summary of our work orders coming up. And we are slowly but surely coming up with some cash, man. I think if we go over here to improve the workshop, yeah, we got 2,700 bucks to spend. We'll check out our next work order, but I don't think we're going to do it today. But I just want to see what it is. The main railway station informed us that a locomotive pulling a passenger car has not arrived on time. We were gonna have to check to see what happened, boy. Wow, hold on, a thousand bucks for that one. We're gonna have to check to see what happened. Guys, let me know if you're enjoying Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.